Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a fun little book tag. This is quite an old book tag, but I just came to know about it a few days back. And this book tag is called the Ultimate Harry Potter Book Tag. Yes, you heard me right. And me being the amazing Harry Potter fan that I am, I'm here, of course. First, when I came to know that there is a Harry Potter book tag, I just had to do it. So I am here in my kind of Harry Potter output. Um, here is my Deathly Hallows um, pendant. I hope you can see it. I absolutely love it. And also, I try to draw a little scar here. It's very bad, but I just did it. And another pendant I have is very old, but still, this is the Hogwarts batch. And I just decided to wear it as a tiara on my head. So there you go. So if you're interested in this book tag and you are also a Harry Potter fan like me, then please keep on watching. This tag has 30 questions which are divided into five sections our first section is general category there are five questions in this category let's begin with the very first question the first question is favorite book in the series well my favorite book in the series is goblet of fire the fourth book in the harry potter series and this is my oldest and very well loved uh, book as you can see these are the very first uk editions and i just love this the next question is least favorite book well there cannot be a book in the harry potter series which can't be your favorite but still if i have to choose i guess i will go with order of the phoenix which is the fifth book in the series now uh, when i read it back in the days uh, i remember it being a bit boring towards the middle like there were huge chunks where the ministry of magic was kind of described and and harry was this angsty teenager uh, at that point of time i felt kind of bored a bit i'm not saying this is a bad book in any way i mean come on it's harry potter obviously i loved it and compared to the other books in the series it's maybe a tiny little less favorite of mine moving on to question number three favorite movie in the harry potter franchise well i love all of the harry potter movies like they are so amazing they are my favorite thing in the entire world and I have lost count of how many times I have read these books and watched these movies. Uh, all through my life, I can just keep on rereading these books and rewatching these movies, and still I won't get bored. That much of a fan I am. Well, if I have to pick a favorite movie in the series, I think I will go with um, *Goblet of Fire* because that book is my favorite and. The movie was so amazing, the Yule Ball, all the dresses and um, you know the Triwizard Tournament, Goblet of Fire has movie. To. But also I loved the Deadly Hallows movies Next too. question is least favorite movie. As I mentioned all the Harry Potter movies are amazing and I love each and every one of them. But still if I have to pick a least favorite one. I guess again I will go with the Order of the Phoenix movie because as I mentioned that is the least favorite story of mine so the movie too was a little bit less favorite of mine. Next question is favorite quote? Well Harry Potter is full of such amazing quotes most of them by Albus Dumbledore. I just love all the quotes but if I have to pick a favorite quote I think I will go with this one right here. Happiness can be found in the darkest of corners if one only remembers to turn on the light. This is by Albus Dumbledore and this quote is so amazing. It means so much to me and this is so inspirational. So 
I can't help but pick this one up as my absolute favorite and also another one I would like to give an honorary mention to it's not actually a quote but more of like a word which is always by Snape towards the very end of the series and it is such a famous quote and it means so much and also I would love to have that uh, written um, on my hand as a tattoo i would love to do it soon so anyway let's move on to the next question favorite weasley well of course i have to go with fred and george weasley because they are the best they are such amazing people and their sense of humor nothing can beat that of course it's fred and george weasley this question is favorite female character i'm sorry guys has to be Hermione Granger. I love Hermione. I just absolutely relate to her and she is so amazing. I love Hermione Granger. Next question is favorite villain. For this I will go with Bellatrix Lestrange because she is just the ultimate villain. Uh, you know with her looks, with her vibe and also she is slightly unhinged and you can never know what to expect from her and she is just full of malice and passionate about her hatred towards the good and her passion about Voldemort. It's like hands down she is my favorite villain. Next question, favorite male character? Well, I actually don't know who my favorite male character is. There are many that I like. I want to say Harry but again i i like neville as well and hagrid and albus dumbledore and lupin oh my god i just love all of them but again if i have to pick one i will go with harry potter of course next question favorite professor hands down professor mcgonagall she is my favorite hogwarts professor ever next question falls under the category of would you rather there are again five questions under this category and the very first one in this is hmm, would you rather a wash snape's hair or b spend a day listening to lockhart rant about himself i will have to go with a wash snape's hair because by washing snape's hair i will be actually doing him a favor his hair won't be greasy and slimy anymore and that would be so nice and i don't want to torture myself by listening to lockhart rant about himself an entire day my god that will give me a headache come on i cannot take the next question is would you rather duel a an elated bellatrix or b an angry molly I will go with an elated Bellatrix because as I mentioned previously Bellatrix can be a bit unhinged at times so in a fit of rage and passion and anger uh, you don't know when she might miss a mark and maybe you will get a slight bit opportunity to disarm her or to defeat her even so I would rather dwell her than an angry Molly Weasley my god Molly Weasley hats off her love for her kids for any day i will take bellatrix over molly weasley because with bellatrix as i said i might have a chance of winning but with an angry molly weasley no i don't think so. question is would you rather travel to hogwarts via a hogwarts express b flying car i will go with a hogwarts express because i just love hogwarts express that red colored train moving amongst all the greenery that is an amazing scene and it is so very special to harry potter series and i just love the train scenes as well i mean and come on you get the trolley in the train which you don't get in a flying car there are chocolate frogs berties every flavor beans and what not and in a flying car there is nothing there is this risk and i will be flying in the car and i'll be so hot and i'll be nervous no i will pick the hogwarts express Next question would you rather a kiss voldemort or b give umbridge a bubble bath well 
I will go with B. Give Umbridge a bubble bath. Because, well, it might be a chance that I can drown Umbridge. You know, I hate her so much. But kiss Voldemort? Ew, no, I, I can't even imagine it. So, that's it. Next question. Would you rather A. Ride a hippogriff or B. Ride a firebolt? Hmm, that's a difficult one. I love Buckbeak, the Hippogriff, and I would love to ride Buckbeak. But I also love Firebolt, and I guess I'll go with B, ride a Firebolt. Um, because that would be cool if I ever did play Quidditch, you know. I'm not that much of a sports person, but if I had to play one sport in my life, of course, I would pick Quidditch. So I guess, ride a firebolt it is. Next question. Is there a character which you felt differently about in the movies versus books? Well, yeah. I would say Ginny Weasley because when I read the books, Ginny um, was portrayed like a very popular and very pretty young girl who is Ron's younger sister and she is very confident and a very strong girl well in the movies too it was there but i don't know like don't get me wrong i do like bonnie wright she is very sweet but seeing bonnie wright in the character of Ginny weasley was not my cup of tea i don't know i just i can't explain it but i will say Ginny weasley she was she was not exactly as i pictured her while reading the books so uh, this question belongs to the third category which is book to movie adaptation so the next question in this category or overall the question number 17 is is there a movie you preferred instead of the book my answer is no 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 I love the Harry Potter movies, I love the books, but you cannot compare, come on, I am a book worm, I am a book nerd. Of course, the book, all the books are better. And without the books, the movies won't even be there. Let's get real. Next question, Richard Harris or Michael Gambon as Dumbledore? I don't know, when I watched the first movie, I liked Richard Harris as Dumbledore. He was just as the book portrayed him to be. And uh, when the next movie came out and Michael Gambon was there instead of Richard Harris, I was quite young and I did not notice much of a difference, I would say. Uh, it was all the same to me and Michael Gambon also did quite an amazing job of portraying Dumbledore. I would say Michael Gambon because um, I'm more used to seeing him as Albus Dumbledore in in the rest of the Harry Potter movies. So Michael Gambon. Next question. Your top thing, person or event which wasn't included in the movie that annoyed you most? Well, I would say Peeves the Poltergeist because obviously those of us who have read the books know how important Peeves is. I mean, he's not exactly important to the storyline or the plot or whatever it is, but he's still important. He's there. I mean, the sarcastic songs that he does and all the nuances that he creates, uh, he's quite present in the books and uh, it would be fun to see him in the movies but his character is altogether completely absent in the movies so yeah that is what i miss next question if you could remake any of the top movies which would it be none i have no idea about filmmaking and i just loved all the movies as it is so I don't think I would remake any of the movies, except maybe just I will modify one of the movies. The sixth movie, Half-Blood Prince, uh, it omitted many scenes which were present in the book. Like uh, in this book, we get Voldemort's backstory, his childhood and the way he acquired the Horcruxes. So a lot of the details were uh, omitted in the movies and uh, I would love if it were there. Yeah, maybe the movie would have been a little longer, but who cares i mean one hour extra of harry potter who will say no to it isn't it so 
yeah i guess i will just uh, modify half blood prince movie a little bit but apart from that no it's it's all just perfect moving on to the next category which is hogwarts so there are again five questions in this category and the first question or actually question number 21 being which house was your first gut feeling you would be a part of well to be honest i was actually confused between gryffindor and ravenclaw like my heart's desire was to be a gryffindor because harry ron and hermione were of course gryffindors but also there was a part of me that somehow thought that i would be a ravenclaw because the person that i am i am more of a ravenclaw uh, than a gryffindor so i was actually confused between those two. the next question which house were you actually sorted into on Pottermore or any other online sorting quiz? Well, I was sorted into Ravenclaw and I don't have a Ravenclaw scarf. I will buy it in the future, but as of now, I don't. So I'm just making do with one of my bluish scarves that I own. So. I am a Ravenclaw. I have been sorted into Ravenclaw by the Pottermore quiz. Also, I should mention my Petronas is a wild boar. I am exactly not sure what it is, but I have seen pictures. So yes, wild boar is my Petronas. The next question, which class would be your favorite? Well, I guess charms would be my favorite and also defense against the dark arts. I would love to be in those classes and learn all the magic stuff and the spells but i guess charms would be my favorite because we learn so many spells and we learn how to do them and of course if we are to learn magic spells are one of the most important Next question is which spell do you think would be most useful to learn there are quite so many spells that i think will be useful because come on being a muggle is no fun at all so I guess the first and foremost most useful spell would be Accio because I'm a lazy person and if I can just sit at one place and just swish my wand and say Accio whatever thing I need and I'll just get it in my hand wouldn't it be amazing suppose I need a glass of water I won't have to just go to the kitchen to get it I can just sit here and be like Accio water and the bottle will come to my hands isn't it amazing and also i guess alohomora would be useful because we can unlock any locked doors just say question number 25 which character do you think at hogwarts you would instantly become best friends with of course hermione granger and neville longbottom sorry i just had to pick these two question number 26 if you could own one of the three hallows, which would it be? I'm not sure which I want more. I actually want the elder wand as well as the invisibility cloak both because both can be amazingly useful. Uh, but I know that if I do possess the elder wand, it will be very dangerous for me because people will be after me all the time and it would be a lot of power i will always be insecure about my own safety but um but still i think i'll go with the elder wand question number 27 is there any aspect of the books you would want to change this can be a character an event or anything my answer is no I will not change anything about Harry Potter. It is perfect the way it is and I love it. That's Question all. number 28. Favorite Marauder? Well, Remus Lupin, of course. Moving on to question number 29. If you could bring one character back to life, which would it be? Well, I just have to cheat for this question because I cannot mention just one character whom I want to bring back. I mean, there are so many. Mm, there is Hedwig, Dobby, Tongs and Remus Lupin, Fred Weasley, Sirius Black. There are so many. But still, if I have to pick just one, um, I guess I will go with Fred Weasley. Because imagining one twin without the other is just... 
can't be so yes fred weasley moving on to the last question question number 30 hallows or horcruxes of course hallows i mean who would want to divide their soul i mean no hallows of course So there you have it guys, that was the ultimate Harry Potter book tag and I had a lot of fun doing this video today. I hope you guys had a great time watching this as well and I will be tagging uh, Brit from basically Brit, um, Murphy from Murphy Napier, Chloe from Books with Chloe, Soumya from Soumya's Bookstation and Sankalpita from Book Geeks India to do this tag and also I tag all you guys if you have a booktube channel and if you want to do this tag then by all means do it and do let me know because I would love to watch so it. So that is all for today's video guys. If you liked it then make sure to put a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to my channel as it would mean a lot I to me. I hope you have a good day or night and I will see you again soon with another video. Bye!